What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to take a look at the new HG Build Divers Gira Giraga. And this is Doji's mobile suit, you know, the uh, kind of fat little brother of uh, the uh, ogre. Good old flaming ogre. Not a flaming. I know it's not a name. I can't remember. It's okay. Alright, so we did the unboxing for this already. So, yeah, there's great artwork here of the Gira Giraga. Okay, and of course it is straight up based off of the Giraga from Age, but done in all kinds of new blue and potentially some new weapons and details and stuff like that. HG there, Build Divers logo there, other Build Divers logo there, and you got Bandai 2018 down there. Now we come to the bottom, you got actions. Of course you do. You got Beam Vulcan in the hands. You've got Giraga Gira Tail. So you got kind of a whip thing going on there, and you got the gear, gear tail, let me take it off and use it as a whip, I just said that. Beam Buster, right there in the chest, little crystal piece for that. Now using the lead line in the center of the gear, gear tail, its flexible movements can be recreated. That's true. And you got gear, gear spear, everything gear something. And thing can be taken apart, so, and then you've got all the custom stuff. Buy the things, guys, just buy the things. And come to the side, you got 007. So he is, of course, James Bond. Gira Giraga. And uh, Bandai Hobby.net. Yay! Moving on. And come to the last side, you got the obligatory rear and front shot there. Looks very, very cool. You got the read up right there. If you feel like reading it, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, just pause for a second. And then, of course, you got the story. And you got the do not stick a Giraga in your three year old's face because it might hurt. Plus. 18 year olds probably should handle it, I guess. Something like that. And you got a little guy toilet. You've got 1800 yen. And you get illustration by Magaki Ryuta. Special effects is by Koma. And background images by Saito Yoshinobu. Some of my favorite team of artists. Giraga, now in blue. Still upside down. Yeah. No build montage for this one, guys, so we'll just skip right to it. Gira, Gira, Ga. Alright guys, so now we've got gear, the Gear Giraga out here and looking very, very blue. It actually seems like the uh, camera's having a hard time figuring out where to focus because of, well, all the blueness. Focus here. Thank you. <laughs> since it's been a little bit since I've done a Build Divers review, I had to actually figure out where my little <laughs> diver gear was. But this guy is really, really cool. It definitely has the age aesthetic. It's got the got the vegan thing going on. You got the yellow vents and stuff like that. Big spiky parts, mind you. These are all new for this guy. Of course, the parts on the head there are also new. But I always like the vegan designs down, even down to the strange two thumbed hand. <laughs> it's just it's the truth of what it is. Let's go ahead and get this guy off of here real quick and straighten him out this thing is actually very cool i really dug the construction process there's a couple weird things about it like a little like the way the arms go together is a little strange but if you've built any of these age kits along this line uh you know what you're getting into more or less uh the details are very nice you've got a couple different kinds of blue you've got the normal kind of blue and you got kind of a darker navy blue for the most part looks really good you get stickers here on the chest that cover up the yellow parts. You get a metallic-y two-tone blue sticker for the uh, beam blaster in the chest there. You get yellow stickers for the side vents on the head. If you feel like painting that, go right ahead. You also, of course, get green sticker for the visor, which I always suggest using because you're almost never going to match that just pure metallic green. But other than that, I don't believe there's a whole lot else to do sticker-wise. It's actually fairly simple. Uh, normally, I would panel line things in blue. This time, I panel lined everything in dark gray, as usual. And funny, I would have expected this to actually be a sticker, but it's not. That's actually a good little plastic piece. Uh, one thing about the Vegan designs, they're definitely supposed to be very alien. But they're also very, like, flowery, so to speak. I mean, we've looked at the... Uh, Farsia before, probably the only other vegan suit I've really had, and very, very more 
organic looking, very smooth, less less mechanical. And that's what I like about these uh, hip skirts. They just they don't look like big machine hip skirts. Even the chest it looks a lot like a plant. So it's very, very cool. I really do dig it. We'll go over articulation first, then we'll go over the gimmicks and things like that. So the head is on a double ball joint, although it is mounted upside down compared to normal. So that's pretty good. You can tilt the head back about that far. You can tilt it down about that far. I'm trying to figure out if the chin is coming off or if it's meant to do that. Looks like it has a little hinge. Can rotate. Just be careful. Mind the back parts. This is actually mounted on a ball joint, so it's really interesting that that can move around. The regular kit uh, probably is a little different. The fin, the commander fin, more or less, is actually different from the standard one. It has this little fruit up front. I really do dig that. Uh, no torso articulation except to rotate on ball joint. Here, I take it back. It wasn't moving before. It actually has uh, ab crunch. I'm sorry. Shoulders, standard ball joint and poly caps. So he can shrug forward about there. Now you guys can see right here is the blatant gap and seam line for the chin. That would take a lot of work to fix uh, by seam lining, so obviously I didn't. Rotate the arms all the way around, but you gotta watch the pods on the back. Shoulders come out to about there, using the ball joint and then the hinge there. You can use the swivel for the bicep and the double jointed elbow to come up here and give us a wave. So, hello. My name is Giragiraga. Blah. Don't know. Gira everything! Alright, so ball joint mounted wrist. It's actually a little bit loose inside the polycap there, but otherwise, these arms actually construct the way these armor goes together is strange, but I like it. Does that make sense? I turn hand all the way around. Uh, with the hand, actually, you do get the, uh, what I guess is supposed to be a beam Vulcan. In a lot of other cases, it'll be a beam saber or a different kind of blade. It has a mild, mild ball joint, so you can kind of position that just a little bit. No big deal. You do get these el or elbow and knee clear pieces. I like that. Uh, those actually, uh, I think they are different from the standard one. All right, so the hips, apologize for the runny nose. Hips are just T-mounted, so you're only going to get to about there for splits, but not too bad. Comes forward pretty much to a 90 goes back pretty much to a 90 really nice uh, a little bit of rotation just because it is on a ball joint very good double jointed knee though you got to kind of remember to use that first joint sorry that's actually kind of popping off there on me so use the joints to your ability okay that's actually as far as the top of the knee will go so you can get a good squat and the ankle can rock forward and back up here. And then you've got rotation for the toes. And well, I thought it could bend, but I guess not. But a, I forgot. The heel actually can rotate independently of the rest of it. So is what it is. Well, that is any word. Ooh, I'm, I'm sneaking away. You don't see me. Ooh, ooh. Now, for accessories and stuff, he does come with some new hands. So you get the beam open hands, like so. You do get a couple of those. So you get a left and a right. They are identical for about as close as I can guess. Uh, so you can do whatever you want. Oh, <laughs> there. I actually got it to sit all the way in just now. And, of course, they are just ball joint mounted. So whoop de doo That's super easy to replace. No big deal. Just plow. Hi. I am Gerard Giraga. Because you have to introduce yourself every time you're on screen. Alright, so you also get a couple other sets of hands. You get a normal holding hand, so it goes straight through. And then for this guy, let's see, I can't remember, pun intended, offhand, uh, which one came as extra. So you get only the same number of backings for these hands, but I don't remember if it's this one or the regular one that comes with the um, these guys. So this is for holding the tail whip, which is back there. And so we'll put this one on this hand. Since we can do both of these at the same time, we'll put this one on this hand. And you can see the difference here. You've got some tabs. 
and is an interesting way to hold a weapon. So we'll come back to these guys. These little blades, or whatever they're called. I'm too lazy to pick the box back up and look at it. So you do get the two of them, and you get wraparound green stickers, and they're they're not bad. They're they're not great, but they're not bad. Uh, if you get them if you get them lined up just right, you won't have any problems. Uh, but it does take some finagling. This one's actually not put on very well, if I'm honest. But for the most part, you can't tell. And then you've got these two tabs at the end. Of course, that corresponds to the hand. Now he's doing the splits. So instead of actually having him holding the weapon, the weapon tabs into the, the hand itself. It's kind of crazy. So he's not actually holding one big staff weapon. He's holding two halves of a weapon that tab onto or into his hand. And that looks really cool. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. It's weird because, like I said, double thumbs, as you can see. But it's very cool. And I like to use it more like a, instead of a staff, I like to use it more of a spear. So he's just going to, you know, stab somebody from a distance. But then, you can totally come back here to the buttocks. So you got the big extension coming up the butt. You got the nice curly Q tail. You just grab it right down here and you swivel and it pops right out. Stand there for a second there. So here you have the Gira Gira tail. One of the most annoying things I've ever had to put together in my life. Because every single one of the segments, you have to cut off the runner, clean off the nubs, insert the wire, and you got to do them in order. So you've got two down here that are different, then you have 14 in a row that are diff that are all the same, and then you got a few different ones at the top. This was incredibly annoying and took a very long time. The handle itself is on a bit of a hinge joint here. Just looks like a flashlight or a beam saver. And it does have that wire running all the way through it. Now, with the wire, you see I'm having some problems with these top parts being loose. The wire itself is extra long. You have to curl it up inside here. And I even trimmed off about an eighth of an inch or so. And it still wasn't enough. I would like that to be a bit tighter. But for just standing there and holding it, you can totally just do that the only thing is you got if you wanted to hold it you just gotta make sure it doesn't like rotate in the hand it should be okay for the most part but since it is a whip we can extend it out a little bit here so once again it's these top parts are going to be loose and i think uncoiling it may in fact make a mess i don't know so he can do that, or in this case, he can hold it over here like this, and rotate the hand. I do wish he had a rotation joint somewhere else, but it does look pretty good. I will give it that, but once again, this is a problem here. So uh, some of these are super tight on the wire, and some of them are super loose on the wire. I don't know if that's just a molding thing, because it actually has a molded in uh, hole for the thing to go through. By the way, you also get this nice beam part at the end of the tail. Beam. Clear part at the end of the tail. Looks really good. I really do dig it. It's a fun, fun thing. Now, if you come to the backpack back here, you do get the thrusters. You get the big yellow vents here. And these are mounted on ball joints for these little wings. Now, these are different from the standard ones, from what I can tell. And one thing you can do... So depending on which look you want to go for, you can pull those out and actually close up the pods. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that you can actually do it. So, And I do believe, I could be wrong, but I believe you can build a standard, or mostly a standard Giraga from this. Because obviously the, uh, the bits for the knees and stuff are probably a little bit different. Because you can tell those come on a different uh, clear runner. But... This guy is, was a lot of fun. I do dig it. The only problem that I don't like is the dark blue cleaning up nubs, especially when it's panels trying to come together, like here on the forearms or here on the legs. Uh, you've got to be very careful. One, it's a slightly curved piece, and they're meeting on a curved surface, so it's going to be a little difficult to sand those nubs clean, and you may end up with some gouges like I did in a few spots. But... 
all in all, very good kit. I really do enjoy this one. I like the aesthetics. I like the age kits, and I like the vegan suits. I probably want to try to get probably the normal version of this, because I really dig the red. But for now, let's go ahead and compare him to some other suits. So we'll have the Double O Diver Ace. Even though technically when they met the first time, it was just the Double O Diver, no Ace. We have his recent buddy from the most recent episode. Spoilers. You got the Cheese Master. You can tell my lighting is, or my my uh, camera is adjusted to deal with the blue. And for his teammate and big brother, there's your ogre. Looks very, very cool. All right, guys. So all in all. I definitely suggest this kit. You know, it, it's it's definitely worth the money. It's a lot of fun. It's something different. I really appreciate that Build Divers is really giving us a lot more in the way of age kits, considering they didn't seem to have that big of a lifetime. And also, the reinvention of them, just mildly, is is fun. You know, we got new colors, we got new aesthetics, and uh, new new parts to really refresh this. And I know some people really don't like the mild retooling repaints and stuff like that see it as a waste of our time but i actually really enjoyed them especially considering that i never had a georg i never had one of these kits to look at before or build so it's a lot of fun so definitely go snag you one especially i think doji is going to become a better character in the series uh especially after the last episode now uh, definitely wait for the p bandai black version to come out because i have a feeling that's going to happen uh, judging by the last episode that we got, but, you know, why not? Or if you just want to go ahead and get one of these and paint it yourself as the black version, along with uh, Beam Master, go right ahead. I wouldn't blame you. It'd be kind of fun. The Dark Mirror version. That's pretty cool. The tail is a bit of a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie. The stickers for these things are kind of a pain in the butt. Everything else, I really do appreciate what they did with this kit. But guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe -ish button down there. We're ever so close. Ever, ever, ever so close to 3,000, guys. We're at 2950 as of filming this. And uh, it's only 50, 50 people in nine days until the... Well, at least as of filming this. So 50 people is all we need. So we should be able to pull that off. But if you want to go ahead and help support the channel in a different way, hit up the Patreon right here on the screen at patreon.com slash Shoki Reviews and be like John, Andy, Steve, Colby, and the Crow Sama and help me out a little bit monthly just to keep this channel moving forward. At least buys one kit for me a month or just helps pay bills and other aspects, something like that. But if you want to get a cool Shoki shirt, you can do that. Here's a few of them right here. Links are in the description down below so you can show off that you're part of the Shoki nation and all that of course goes to help the channel but i'll catch you guys on the next review and remember as always keep on building